Hey, this is Dan Nichols, Michigan Wedding DJ, michiganweddingdj.com. I am not a professional videographer, and that will become increasingly evident as you watch the video. So this is what it looks like kind of surrounding the Packard Proving Grounds in Shelby Township, Michigan. Um, it's, it's Old Van Dyke. I think they still call it Old Van Dyke, so it's not the Van Dyke Expressway. And it is between 22 and 23 Mile Road on Van Dyke. But anyway, this is like the front of it when you pull up and the guests will be driving on this driveway right here. And they'll park to the right where you see those two cars. That whole field will have uh, guests um, parking in it and on it, I should say. Uh, the shrubs and everything really well manicured. The lawn's a little dried out, but it is a nonprofit. I don't know if they, their water bill would probably be pretty insane. Uh, you look to the right, this is where uh, the smaller of the two buildings that were used that evening uh, in particular for the cocktail hour. Uh, and I, I got to tell you, I don't recall guests going in the front there. I think they walked around where you'll see me driving here in a moment. Over to the left is, I believe, when it was a functioning proving ground. Uh, people came out through there and then in through this entrance here. A really cool run of trees there, though. Just beautiful, like right out of a postcard. Uh, that's uh, where they actually looked at the vehicles in the far back there. And this building, in the, that's where they would look at them after they ran them around the track. So on the right there is that one cocktail hour building. And on the left, you'll see in just a moment. Again, guests don't park in here. There's a vendor that's parked here right now. And I'll be parking here in just a moment to go through those doors right there into the uh, main ballroom and dining area. Those are all doors, which is really cool. They could open all those, or in this case, they had a couple of them open. It was a beautiful day. It was like 70 degrees in July. It was gorgeous. So it's, it's um, definitely got the, a factory vibe, which I liked. I thought it was really neat. And they do a nice job of dressing it up and making it look pretty and cute. Um... Anyway, just to scan around the uh, cocktail area. And those ceilings, I'm going to say, are about mm, eight to nine feet high. Just cool old hardware on everything, which I think is neat. They do a good job of keeping the paint up and everything. The floor's got some stains. Again, it was, it, was, uh, it was a place for mechanics, for sure. An old bar, you know, just kind of cool looking. I mean, obviously they built the bar. I know it's not an old bar, but make it look antique. And now, as if I'm a guest, I'm walking out this door toward the main dining area. Those are some outbuildings that are not used by people having weddings and parties there. Uh, there's a guy with a photo booth set up. He's got his truck parked out here. And I got my van backed up to the door, which makes in and out really easy if you're a vendor. I'm walking in through the double doors. Those are that's a real tile a stone roof, which is just makes it just so much more picturesque. Um, it definitely had a, a gloss to the uh, concrete of sealant. There's the head table where everybody's, you know, they got you know, the old pictures up on the wall, and there's, I believe there were three cars in this room. And then in just a moment, I'm going to do a panoramic for you, as if you were the bride or groom sitting there looking out to your right, scanning over to the left. And that's where the guests come in, right there into that purple car. But I'm back to the other end of the head table. There's where they put a cake. That's an old, I believe, Studebaker car. Guests are seated here at these long rectangular tables and also the rounds, which were... Um, I saw uh, as few as seven chairs and then there were some eight toppers. There's the bathrooms there in the corner. So there, the um, main entrance and the bathrooms are kitty corner from each other. I like to show you the ceiling. You know, again, I want you to have a really good vibe, a good feel for what it's like in there. Cool old memorabilia up on the walls. Just kind of pointing. I, I don't. I do the audio afterwards, so I'm just kind of pointing like where the entrances were and to the right's the back of this building. Again, a shot of the ceilings. I just to reiterate, I'm a DJ. I am not 
a professional videographer. I'm going to take you into the restrooms, into the guys' restrooms, just so you see what it looks like, because that's what people are going to want to know anyhow. They were neat and clean. Everything was very neat and clean. I don't have to tell you what those are. A handicapped toilet. Seat covers, always a good thing. No, uh, no paper towels and air dryer. Now walking out here, that's just like a little, um, you know, there was a little vestibule in there, but that was more for the white staff. So again, that's opposite corner of the entrance, kitty corner. A couple of drinking fountains, just some old memorabilia. Here to my right, that's the kitchen. That's where they, you know, they do all the food prep, and it was catered in. They don't cook anything there from what I can tell. That's where I set up as the DJ, right here. I tend to like to do this scan from left to right. This is what, there's the dance floor. This is what I like to, you know, just kind of show you. I'm opposite the bride and groom at this point, their head table. Showing you the floor up close. And those, though they look maybe like chips and stuff, they're really not. They're sealed over. But it does give it that authentic feel. This is your dance floor. And then staying to this side of the building. That's like a courtyard area. And the bride and groom will often get pictures in that other building, which is where they actually did uh, checked out the vehicles afterwards. But guests will hang out out here, which is great, I think. But it also made it hard because it was such a beautiful night. Nobody wanted to, uh, nobody, you know, early on, not a lot of people were coming in. It took a while to bring them in. There's the bar. And that is, when you walk in, the bar is like 50 feet in front of you. And in this setup, I don't know how you're going to set it up. But this is probably how they like to set it up. There's the entrance. There's the bar. And then over here, she had a, a wall to the right there of donuts that they put out. There's the photo, a photo booth guy there. Another car. And then there's the exit. Yep, I want to take you back and show you something. I thought this was just really cool. This old chandelier. It's got automotive written all over it. Check it out. Like a big old gear. I don't know, flywheel, something like that. I'm not a mechanic. She had a wall of donuts. That was the thing I was talking about a minute ago. The bar, just a quick picture. Anyway, Dan Nichols, MichiganWeddingDJ.com. If you need a disc jockey, I'd love to help you out. Hopefully this video helped you to choose the venue um, that, that most interests you. Thanks so much.